I uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. I'm Dan Beard. I'm the special teams coordinator linebackers coach at Millersville University. Uh, going to be clinicking today, talking about tackling situations and drills, um, how we teach tackling, you know, as a, as a staff here at Millersville. Uh, appreciate your guys' time for tuning in. Uh, my contact information is available there. Um, if there's any questions that you guys would like to, uh, to follow up with. So um, past uh, two years, um, we had, you know, uh, two all-conference, uh, you know, linebackers. We also had an all-conference corner. Um, you can see those guys had a ton of tackles. And I think the big reason that we've had success as a defense is, um, you know, the way we teach tackling, you know, uh, starting with Matt Suchak, our defensive coordinator through our whole staff, um, Coach Jim Suchak, our defensive line coach, Coach Keys, our corners coach, Coach Troy Jensen, our um, safeties coach. Um, we've been very fortunate um, to, to just all be on the same page with our teaching progression. Um, and, and be able to uh, be successful there. One thing that we give our guys, um, you know, at, for, for each position defensively, and also we have a defensive goal is, a, a, you know, position emphasis. And I think this is something that, you know, if you want to be good at tackling, if you want to be a solid defense, you've got to emphasize it every day in your meeting. So, you know, uh, what you emphasize, what you put in front of those guys every day is what they're going to do. And we, we, you know, each position group has three main points. Uh, but the biggest thing that we all have is physical tackling and block destruction. If that's something that we want to be, we want to show up on film and on tape, uh, we've got to be sure that we're uh, we're putting that together and, and solid with it. Um, part of tackling, you know, you have to have a teaching progression. You know, our teaching progression is, is you know, we would be in a great stance, you know, whether we're in a three-point as a defensive lineman, we're in a two-point as a linebacker or a DB. Um, we have proper alignment both vertically and horizontally. Um, where eyes are on our keys, um, we know our run and pass responsibility and what techniques we have to have to teach with. And we try to instill this in our guys because, again, if they know what they're doing, they're able to get lined up um, regardless of what your defensive system is. If you're a 3-3, three, three, a 3-5, three, a 4-3, four, a 4-2-5, four, or you're a hybrid, you know, um, or putting all seven guys up on the line of scrimmage, if you do these things and you, you have great fundamentals and you tackle, you're going to be successful. So these are things that we really uh, emphasize with our players. Um, just kind of example of stance, and this would be something we go over, you know, in the meeting room with our guys, you know, per each position uh, with what we're looking at, you know, the coaching points, give them a visual um, and kind of coach them up with it. So we, we do teach the rugby style tackle. Um, you know, the Seahawks did make it famous. Uh, but the one thing is if you, if you go through the history of football, um, if you go back, you know, back, you know, in, in the 20s and 30s, they were teaching the rugby style tackle. This is from uh, Fitz Kreitzer, who was a head coach at Michigan. Um, his book, Practical Football. And you can see there, you know, the picture that's attached is they're teaching, you know, the rugby style, the wrap and roll, you know, the shoulder, you know, the heads out, the wrap and roll. And you got to think about when they were playing football back then, you can see, you know, in the pictures, those guys didn't have face masks. So keeping the head out of it as much as possible. Kind of interesting, you know, the game of football cycles back around, you know, the, the Seahawks, you know, here in, in the, uh, you know, the late 2010s, um, you know, 2013, 2014, kind of brought it back around. But again, I think when you look at the history of football is that, you know, it's always kind of been there. So it's an interesting, you know, kind of uh, history point we try to point out with our players. But how we teach, you know, our tackling, you know, we are a rugby style tackling team. We also teach situational tackling. So we're looking through eyes through the thighs. You know, we're looking to hit the strike zone between the knee and the pec. Um, you can see as the, as the picture has there, we're going to wrap and squeeze and then we're going to drive our legs for five. Um, we're, we're big into getting the head across the thigh boards um, as opposed to behind like some of the teams. Again, we're keeping the head out of it, making contact with the shoulder pad. And again, we're looking for that strike zone. Um, and again, running our feet on contact. So that's how we teach it um, in terms of a, of a, of a progression and, and the buzzwords that we're looking for. Now, when you talk about tackling, you know, regardless if you're a rugby style tackle, if you're an old school, you know, box tackle, there's going to be different tackling situations that you have to teach your kids and you have to teach them the proper leverage um, and you have to you have to define it for them. There's no, you know, picturesque tackle. I mean, you look at a lot of tackles. The main goal at the end of the day is get the guy on the ground. Sometimes it's not pretty. Sometimes it's in the open field. Sometimes you're just making a game saving touchdown. So we try to for our players define what our tackling situations are we have an angle tackle which is your leverage to a sideline or a player we have a box tackle so you're in the box close quarters um you know tackle tackle goal line situation an open field tackle where there's open space and you've got to you know have close quarters movement and close the space between you and the ball carrier there's a trail tackle where your leverage is behind the ball carrier and you've got to look to sweep the ankle or get the guy on the ground there's a vice tackle where there's two defenders on one ball carrier. One has inside out and the other has outside in leverage. So we try to break our tackling situations down into these, um, you know, uh, specific types and define it for our players so they understand um, what kind of tackling they have to do. And again, you know, when you show up on tape, all these different situations show up. So if you're drilling it, 
um, in practice. And when it comes up in a game, you should be good to go. And we'll, as we go through this talk, I'll talk about some of the different drills that we use for our guys. Okay, so we talked about the situations. Now we talk about the aiming points. Again, you've got to define it for your players, you know, and give them aiming points. If we're making an angle tackle, we want to be outside in. We want to aim for the outside thigh board. If we're making an angle tackle and we're working inside out to the sideline, we want to aim for the inside thigh board. Okay, if we're in a box tackle, all right, we're, we're in the box, you know, tackle, tackle box, the short yardage situation. We want to aim for the near peck. Again, wrap and drive. All right, forklift and shoot our arms. All right, for an open field tackle, we're aiming for the near thigh board. Okay, and again, the open field, it doesn't have to be pretty. You just got to get the guy down on the ground. Um, trail tackle, track the near hip, take a swing at the ball. And again, we talked about already our vice tackler. First tackle is going to aim for the near thigh board. Our second tackle is going to aim for the near peck, go and go for the football and look to make a strip. Okay, so, you know, first drill we talk about, this is our day one tackling drill. We do a block destruction and tackling circuit and turnover circuit every day of practice um each coach is assigned a station uh, i usually work with the tackling station our, our defensive line coach coach Sutrick works with the uh um, the block destruction state station coach uh Suchak, our defensive coordinator works with the turnover station um and then also coach jensen and coach keys will as well and coach uh, Suchak will float um to the other two different stations as well but i think it's something that you know if you're going to talk about being a great tackling team you've got to drill it and you've got to have those fundamentals every day in practice and building your practice script so this is our first drill that we do uh, it's a rugby wrap and roll Okay. So you can see we're getting the guys here. All right, we're just about a yard apart. Okay, all right. We're working shooting the thigh boards. All right, heads out of it. We're working wrap and roll, close quarters movement. All right, we're not killing guys with this. The purpose of this drill is just an aiming point. So we'll go down the line. Okay, again, all right, wrap and roll. You can see, all right, work the right shoulder, left shoulder with it. And what, what we've done is we've taken that approach out of it and we're working the finish. So again, you got to go whole part whole with it. All right, working down the line. Uh, working the finish and then we'll go to the uh, ne next couple drills which is working the approach but again the purpose of the drill is all right teach them where that strike zone is at okay again we're not trying to kill each other but we're trying to get an idea of where that thigh board zone is again wrap and roll driving our feet for five to make sure we're in really good shape okay all right so all right next drill we have here we talked about okay we, we eliminated the distance now we put the distance in okay so this is something you can do with your entire defense you basically block it out with cones, all right, and trash bags and, you, and trash cans. You basically have a grid, okay? And what you're working is, all right, that same foot, same shoulder approach to where you get to the can, all right? And what we're looking for here is, all right, low pad, low gravity, okay? Making sure we're not high. This guy here is a little bit high, but we're closing that space. We're closing that distance, okay? So we work in the approach. So, again, tie in the approach, tie in the finish, all right, and then work the in-between parts. You can see the next guy hustles out. And you basically have a grid. You spend about four to five minutes. And this is our usually our first day of spring ball, okay? Our first early practice in camp, all right, when we're not in pads is we're working the approach, okay? And the biggest thing is getting those guys to work to get their shoulders square, close that distance, close that space, and get as tight as they can as possible, okay? You can see we rotate through. And it seems very fundamental, and it seems very elementary, but the thing is, so many missed tackles occur because guys don't close those two to three extra yards of space, okay? So this is a, a simple drill that we found is very beneficial, really helps us um, with what we're dealing with. Again, we work in both directions, okay? And then we have a finish there where the guy's working to get to the hip, okay? We don't have pads on, so we're not really, you know, driving guys here, we're just really working the approach, but it's a way to get your full defense, you know, in that mode of understanding the approach. So every position works. You can see we've got linebackers, D-line, DBs, Everybody's working this drill in their approach. Okay, I'll skip ahead here. All right, so now, okay, we took those two drills. All right, now we put them together. So we took the approach, we took the wrap and roll a yard apart. Now we combine them and put them together. Okay, so now we're in our full pads. Okay, again, all right, right here, wrap and roll. You can see we're closing space. All right, right here. Right, the head's out of it, okay? We're closing space. All right, want to hit the strike zone, shoot the thigh boards, secure, gator roll, and wrap and roll. Okay, you can see this is our D-line here. All right, not as good here. All right, like him and see here, all right? He leaves probably another extra two steps. He goes to shoot for the thigh boards. He's probably got another step there that he can get. All right, but again, the finish. But you can see here, all right, every position group is working this. Our D-line, our linebackers, our DBs, everybody's working this drill. Okay, we usually get about two to three minutes of pop, we work both sides. And again, combining the two drills, you know, of making sure that we're under control. And again, 
every day of practice start with a, with, a, with a circuit. We got a block destruction circuit, turnover circuit down here, and our tackling circuit here in the middle. Hey, here's some more clips of it. Hey, this is a really, really good rep here. Hey, you can see right here, all right, closing the space like we talked about. It's all in the trash cans, all right? Now the other drill we combine, the wrap and roll, all right, shoots the thigh boards and secures. Okay, so now here we go. Shows up. How's it? How's it show up on film here? All right, we're playing Slippy Rock here. Okay, they're gonna run power. Okay, so there's the cut. Okay, now we missed the first one here, and the coaching point would just be, hey, we got to get across the thigh boards and be under control. So there's the approach and how it shows up in your film. All right, now our, our, we get it all spilled out. Our outside linebackers there. Okay, he's shooting and wrapping the thigh boards. All right, not as pretty as we want it, but again, that approach, that strike zone. And getting guys to the football. We'll see it here from the uh, from the tight angle here. Okay, so you see they just run power here. Here it comes. It's a good block strike. You see that first tackle that we missed. All right, we, we're in decent shape. All right, we just got to get across the thigh boards a little bit more, but we get it spilled out. Okay, now again we work that approach, right? Just like we worked on the trash can, same foot, same shoulder. I like him to be a little bit lower in the strike zone here on the thigh boards. Again, we flatten the play out. We secure the tackle, gator roll. All right, and it's a TFL for us. Okay, so another drill we have, approach, angle, wrap and roll. So now you're, you're taking the approach, okay? You're taking the, the wrap and roll drill that you put. Now you're putting it as an angle tackle, all right? Or just playing around with the angles. Okay, so here's what you have here. Okay, now you got a guy approach, all right? Very simple drill. Put the agile out here. And the purpose of this is to make sure that he's he's closed in space. His feet are active, close quarters movement, all right, all the way through the end of the bag of the drill, and then secure tackle. Now the tackle's not as clean. You can see here, he's got to shoot, all right, his arms there, wrap the thigh boards, and wrap and roll. But the purpose of the drill is you're trying to tie in the approach, keeping the feet active, and you can secure and wrap and roll. You got another one here as well do have good and bad examples here so you can see here all right good job here we can see look at his feet they're active the whole time all right makes the cut all right shoots all right like to have him wrap and roll and secure a little bit more okay and we're not totally you know going to kill guys with this drill again it's the approach it's the fundamentals it's shooting the thigh boards so that those things you know become meticulous and become uh you know become repetition and become muscle memory You go good job here all right of keeping the feet active all right probably the only thing is you can see there he goes to shoot he's probably got another extra yard so again that's where that approach drill can come in all right shoot wrap and roll shoot wrap and roll again d lineman right here working on linebacker all right recovers well with the finish and the wrap and roll but again keeping the feet active all right shooting through the thigh boards Does a good job there. Strike zone wants to be a little bit better from that one. All right, now we see it in a game situation, okay? All right, we'll see a little bit better from the tight end. We can see here, right? They're basically having outside run play, pin and pull outside zone. Okay, you'll see it in, a little bit better from the tight end, but our interior guy here, all right, he's shooting, wrapping on the thigh boards, taking the angle. And here it is from the tight angle. Okay, so right here, they're just down in, all right, pulling the guard, you know, getting, getting a pin and pull scheme going all right right there all right our 36 here we're going to see as a freshman for us uh, all conference players a freshman all right shuffles in so again we talked about angle wrap and roll he's right there he'll get his head across the thigh boards secure wrap and roll okay don't obviously don't want him to fall forward with those extra two all right get his head across a little bit more but again right there something that you drill every day and it shows up on film All right, so the next kind of tackle we teach, all right, the angle tackle, all right? It's a one-on-one -on -one tackling scenario versus a ball carrier. Defenders approaching a ball carrier on an angle, whether it's inside out to the sideline or it's outside in, all right? The technique, you know, approach the ball carrier with shoulders square, shuffle your feet within three yards of run. And that's one thing you saw in the previous drills. We want to keep those feet as active as possible so we can close that space. We call it close quarters movement, all right? Be able to get as close as possible and not allow him any distance to make a cut. Maintain your current leverage. Keep the eyes on the near hip. 
All right, aim near foot down the middle of the runner. All right, get your head across the thigh boards, and we're impacting with the shoulder. Again, we're keeping the head out of it um, as much as possible. We'll make impact with that shoulder, get our head across, so our, our leverage is across the ball carrier, wrap up the thigh boards, drive through contact, all right, while rolling the ball carrier to the ground. Okay, so now we take, you know, a similar drill. So we already talked about wrap and roll. So now all that happens is, all right, we'll take an angle here, all right, and now this ball carrier can cut left to right. All right, and now our guy's got to shoot through the thigh boards. All right, tackle, wrap, and roll. All right, and secure and get him to the ground, all right? Again, we're within a five-yard box, okay? And again, this is just fundamentals. We're not necessarily working to kill guys here. We're working the approach, all right, and the wrap and roll. Um, you can do this a drill with the tackle wheels, which we do have some clips of that. But again, you can see here, all right, He's working there to square, okay? Probably can get one more step. I'd like him to have his feet inside his framework a little bit more, but we do secure and wrap and roll. Here's another one. And again, you can see we got all position groups working this. So that was our DBs. Here's our defensive line, okay? Again, he's a little bit high on his strike zone, all right? But he does work to square, keeps his shoulders square. Would like to have him a little bit more lower center of gravity. But again, we're working on the finish there. And again, we put every position group um, in, in these drills to make sure that they're, they're working the uh, proper fits and proper techniques, okay? Nice job here, okay? This is Chase Alisakis, all right? He uh, played, played, played a lot of ball for us, all right? Right here, he's, he's on the cone, all right? Good job. You can see right here, he's got his feet active. All right, this guy goes to make a cut. He's able to shoot and get his head across. Secure a wrap and roll. It's a really good rep right there. And again, each position is learning the same language, the same lingo, the same techniques. But as a defense, we, we can clearly communicate. Here's another good one, but you can see that they're working the approach. And again, this guy can cut one way or the other. He's under control, nice low center of gravity, it's AJ Velocity, his feet are active. Shoots, great job securing and wrapping and rolling right there. Lucas Bush. Lucas was an all-conference player for us. All right, feet are active. All right, good job. You can see there. All right, like him a little bit lower center of gravity. But again, you can see where strike zone's at. We're keeping the head out of it. I right, hit him with the shoulder pad. Secure wrap and roll. All right, so now, again, talking about the angle is knowing your leverage, right? So another drill we work is just inside out pursuit. Everybody, I believe, does this drill, okay? It's very simple, all right? You got the ball carrier taking a toss play. All right, he's going to try to get to the sideline. All right, the defender is going to work inside out, use the sideline as a 12th defender here. Again, the biggest thing he's got to do is he's got to attack downhill and gain ground, okay? Keep his shoulder square, flatten this play out. He does a nice job there. All right, closing this space, closing this distance, getting this ball carrier to flatten out. Now he can be right there on the hip. It's a really good rep right there for us. You can see he does a nice job. His shoulders are square, all right? He's closing that space. He's tracking the inside hip, working inside out, using the sideline as a 12th defender there. And again, a lot of times missed tackles occur just because of bad angles in your approach. Again, works good. Good job inside out, flatten it out, exactly what we're looking for. Okay. All right, here's another one here. Now, here's what happened with this guy, okay? Again, put good and bad here. All right, initially, he starts out really well. He's gaining ground. He's tracking that inside hip. What happens is you can see here, he stops and doesn't continue to work downhill to gain any more leverage, right? He more flattens it out. What happens is his shoulder is not square to the line of scrimmage here, okay? His shoulder's kind of pulled back. What happens is he's now given that ball carrier an easy running lane. That's what we talk about. As you work downhill and close that space, you got to keep your shoulder square so that you can work that angle inside out. So you can see there, he gave him the angle because he didn't close the space and he opened his shoulder back up. Okay, so good and bad. The nice thing, too, guys, is we film all our drills at practice. So this is stuff in the meeting room we show to our guys, all right? And, again, it shows up on film for us. They're working inside out. All right, probably can close a little bit more space here on the inside hip. All right, if he closes that space there, all right, we'll be good there. But, again, he's giving a little bit too much of the angle. But, again, the nice thing about filming this is we go back – um, after practice is we can show this to our guys and we go through these clips, you know, we'll make each clip for each guy um, and we'll, we'll show them all the different, different things that they need to improve on. A better job here of finishing. All right. The nice thing is, all right, even though he gives up a yard or two, he realized this point, I haven't gained enough ground. All right. This guy's got me beat. He's got me out leverage. So he goes and works to beat him down the line, works to finish square back up. 
and makes the tackle. But again, a simple drill, we work at both sides, all right, inside out, and you're able to close that space, okay? Now we tie in that inside out pursuit drill with a full finish um, with, with a wrap and roll here. And you, we do these on the tackle wheels, okay? This is actually a drill we'll do Thursday of practice. So Thursday of foreign uppers, all right, we'll do it in spring ball as well. But the nice thing is you can still practice tackling every day and you're not banging your guys up too much. Again, this is Steve Sweeney, okay? Steve was, was a, a your starter for us. All right, did a nice job. We're expecting a lot out of him the next time we play. But you can see here, he's going to come to the middle here. And what happens is there's two tackle wheels. There's one here and there's one here. He's got to read which one gets rolled, work inside out. All right, aiming for that near thigh board there, which is the outside of the tackle wheel, secure wrap and roll, okay? And, and I'll be honest with you, when we first got the tackle wheels, I was not, not a guy that was totally sold on them. The more we've worked with them, um, I love them. You know, you're able to simulate the, the full force, the contact, um, the approach, the running through, you know, all those things are really beneficial. And Steve does a nice job there. I right, got another clip here. Okay, so you can see here, all right? See, there's the two tack wheels. So now he's got to work inside out to the to the sideline. You can see you're putting him out of 45 angles. So again, it's a game like situation. That ball carrier makes it cut. He's got to redirect on the run. All right, inside out to the sideline, secure wrap and roll. Okay, one more time here. A nice job of securing that ball carrier. Again, you got the two wheels. So again, all right, it's a reaction drill. Okay, all right, the kids can't just go through the motions. All right, again, you're making they've either got to cut this way or cut that way. All right, secure and finish through. Exactly what we're looking for. Okay, one more here. This is Zach Button. Zach was an All Conference player for us uh, in 2018. You can see here, does a nice job here, right? Shoulders are square. All right, realizes, all right, the ball's making cut here, so now I've got to work inside out leverage, okay? Low center of gravity works here, okay? Again, we're hitting with the shoulder. All right, the head's across, the head's out of it. And we're securing the tackle. Only thing, I, coaching point I'd give to Zach is I'd like his strike zone to be a little bit lower here on the pad. But again, you can work a full force drill, full tilt, get all the fundamentals that you need out of it. Okay, so now we have an angle tackle with an agile, working a pursuit drill, tying in some pursuit. Okay, all right, this one here, this film's a little bit old. This is when I was a, a GA at McDaniel, but again, very similar to the inside out pursuit. Is that here, you've got a ball carrier that's working downhill at an angle. Okay, throwing some agiles just so your know, bodies are moving. But again, you'll see the guys, they work to keep their shoulders square back up the end, work inside out pursuit and work in a fit. Nice thing about this drill, you can do without any pads. Just nice, keep the shoulders square, work downhill, work pursuit. Make sure they don't drift inside out. And again, like I said, this is something you can do in, in your spring ball. If you don't have pads, you can do it in your conditioning. You know, you can do it in your positional drill school work. You can do it in the summertime, all right? But you're teaching kids how to work good inside-out leverage. Okay. Just another drill with the two, the two angle tackle wheels. We kind of already talked about it, but now you're just putting just a different variation, a different angle to it, working to the middle. Okay, and again, just securing inside out. So nice thing, man, is you're working the same fundamentals, but you're changing up the drill a little bit just with the angles. All right, and to the kids, it's a different drill, but you're really working the same things that you want. Keeping it fresh for the guys. And does a good job here, all right? He's squared up. All right, ball carry makes his cut, all right? Heads across, secure wrap and roll. And again, this is on a Thursday practice, you know, before a Saturday game. So you're still able to get good tackling, good fundamentals. All right, you're not banging guys up too much. A good job here with the redirect. You see here he works in the middle, plants, redirects, secure wrap and roll. Good job here, you can see thigh boards, working the shoulder, keeping the head out of it. Secure wrap and roll. Again, you can see a bunch of different uh, position groups working. All right, so here we go. So, hey, well, coach, how's it show up on film? All right, so here we're playing East Stroudsburg. Okay. Right here, we're going to take a look here at the at the overhang player here down at the bottom of our screen. Hey, this is Alex Pelgrin. Alex is a true freshman, all right? So you'll see here, he's working his pass drop. 
Hey, they throw the shallow, all right, does a good job, works the wrap and roll. Great job, nice physical hit. You can see the biggest thing is, okay, we talked, had those two uh, agile tackle wheels. All right, plant sticks the foot in the ground. All right, right there, we're in the open field. He's closing the space. His shoulders are still square. All right, his head is out of it. All right, he's in the strike zone. All right, wrap and roll, and he's driving his feet for five. We put the guy on the ground. A nice job, nice open field tackle. All right, you can see here, all right, second and long situation. So they're trying to run, you know, a shallow, all right, mesh concept with a wheel with the back. All right, we, we, we let the ball throw us down. We rally to it. Nice job, gets him on the ground. And Alex for us was, was, a, was a freshman for us, a uh, true freshman. Uh, who was a walk-on for us from Unionville High School um, in Chester County, Pennsylvania. He did a tremendous job for us. Um, we're expecting some really good things out of him moving forward. But you see, just again, his approach, the finish, everything is right there. Okay, here it is, just another view from the tight angle, so you can kind of see just some more of the coaching points. Again, rallying on the run, all right? It's a good job. Now, the other thing, we haven't talked about it yet, but you got a good vice situation where Alex is working inside out. Our, our Mike linebacker is working outside in. Again, just a nice finish. Okay, the head's out of it. He's in the strike zone. Nice physical tackle, and now it's third and long. Okay, here we go. Got another one here. Okay, so we're looking here. This is uh, Isaiah Onishak. We'll look at the Will linebacker up top. Okay, all right, so they run a, pow a quarterback power scheme here with a kick out. All right, he blunts the, uh, the kick out block, and then you can see right here, nice job. Works inside out leverage. Okay. Eight wraps and rolls. Now, I'd like to see him get his head across a little bit more. But again, in the open field, the biggest thing here is he closes the space. He realizes he has to use the sideline as a 12th defender. He's inside out. And we secure wrap and roll. So it's, you know, obviously it could be a little bit better. It's not perfect. But again, the fundamentals that we're drawing in practice are showing up on film, showing up on tape. Here it is from the tight angle. Okay, so you can see here they're running quarterback power. We're getting our mic over the top here. Okay, we got our fit. We got a guy inside the puller, guy outside the puller. Good job, hard jointing. Okay, keeps his outside shoulder free. There it comes inside out leverage. He's keeping his shoulder square. Use the size 12 defender. Obviously, he'd like to get his head across here, but a great open field tackle, secure wrap and roll in his third and long situation. Here we go. All right, looking here at the linebacker here. All right, this is uh, Trajan Dinkins. Trajan was an all conference player for us in 2018. Okay, you can see right here. All right, the pin and pull deal going. It's a good job of tracking the football, working inside out. Shoulders are square to the line of scrimmage. Last second, boom, shoots and wraps the thigh boards. This is good leverage, closes space, works downhill, inside out, boom. Great play for us. Okay, here's another one. Skip ahead of here a little bit. Okay, right here. All right, look at the Mike Backer. And boy, gonna K okay, again, a quarterback pin and pull with a lead blocker. Okay, does a good job. Right now, he does take a shot initially. All right, recovers. All right, but still, the biggest thing you can see here, he recovers. All right, squares back up. All right, looking for what we want right there. We talk about shooting the thigh boards. He's running his feet, his head's across. All right, we get the quarterback on the ground. He does a nice job there of recovering from a play. Obviously, we'd like to see him be a little bit more physical in the initial block destruction, but he recovers. All right, doesn't give up on the play. Shooting the thigh boards, wrap and roll, guys on the ground. Okay, here it is from the tight angle. But inside out, right, defeats the block, okay? A little too high on the block stretch, but you can see here, squares back up. All right, wrap and roll, secure on the ground. So all the stuff we've drilled so far showing up again on tape. Okay, looking down here, back button, linebacker at the bottom. Okay, so now they're running, you know, a now screen or a jailbreak screen, tunnel rocket screen, whatever you prefer to call it. He does a good job here, right? Waits for the ball to be thrown, and you can see here, look at his leverage. So the two tackle wheel drill that we have with the two different angles, right here it shows up, all right? He's working at this angle inside out, okay? Securing the thigh boards, wrap and roll. Probably be a little bit more under more control, but again, the approach, all right, the aiming point, get what we want. All right, it's third and long. We make it fourth down. They're punting.
the same play from the tight angle. Okay, throw the now. You can see right there, there's the approach. Okay, like his head to get a little bit more across there. But the thing he does, he keeps his feet running. All right, he's working at the thigh boards. He gator rolls, secures, wraps, and rolls. Okay, so, all right, so now we talk about open field tackling. So now we're meeting a ball carrier in open space. Okay, we've got to maintain our leverage. Biggest thing is cut the field in half. Don't give them a two-way go. Close ground quickly. Get into a shuffle. Good power angles. Eyes on the near hip. Shoot the thigh board with the near foot. Head across, wrap and roll, and drive your feet. The more you hesit the more hesitant you are, the more opportunities you give them. So you can't hesitate in space. You got to close that space as fast as possible. Okay, so we start here. Practice how we drill it. Okay, so again, all right. Adding ta two tackle wheels, are gonna get, one's going to get rolled either way. And what we're looking at is closing the space as fast as you can. Be under control, all right, with the aiming point. All right, he's probably a little out of control here. Again, working that closing the space, closing the distance as fast as possible. We can't hesitate on this. Okay, so we get them both up. And again, they're reading it. Which one's getting rolled? Okay. He doesn't necessarily know. He's got to attack the middle. All right, secure, wrap, and roll. Got to be a little bit more under control. All right, but you're teaching guys is how to go full speed, close space, okay? Have good fundamentals, but you're not killing your guys. You're not banging them up. Again, like I said, when we first got tackle wheels, I wasn't a big proponent. The more we worked with them, the more beneficial. You can see that it shows up on film. Right here, this is Steve Sweeney. Again, this is excellent, exactly what you're looking for, all right? Right there, close the space, all right? Wrap and roll, we explode. You can see he drives his feet through. And we're in really good shape. And again, all our position groups are doing it. That's one of our linebackers here. Again, all right, just working to explode and drive through, closing that space, not slowing down. All right, not worried about the uh, ball carrier cutting left or right, just running right through. squaring up in the open field. But again, we'll have all our position uh, groups uh, work that drill. Okay, so now, all right, we talked about the shuffle. We talked about squaring up. So you're in the open field. All right, the thing I like here, this is Lucas Bush again. All right, you can see he's taking his angle. But watch here at the last second how he squares his shoulders back up. Square, square, square. All right, working to get it across. Okay, trying to time it up. Could obviously have a little bit lower pad level. Here's Chase Alsakis again. All right, nice thing you see with Chase here. All right, he takes his angle. All right, at this point, his shoulders aren't square. Now as he works his approach, watch him lower his center of gravity. Shoulders are square. Okay, heads, heads across, heads out of it. Shooting the thigh boards there on the wheel. Wrapping and rolling through. Okay, now you can take the same drill. Now you got a little block destruction into it where you're just working a button press, thumbs up, elbows together. Lock out, speed out. Dip, wrap, and roll. Okay, and again, you can have two two wheels with it. So both two guys are working at the same time, working different angles. This guy's got to work the inside out. This guy's got to take a little bit of a deeper pursuit angle. All right, and work that sideline angle. Again, both want to secure wrap, uh, wrap and roll. Okay, you can see here, Zach here does a nice job. You can see his head, working his head out to be securing his gator roll and wrap and roll. All right, linebacker here, Neil. Neil's a little too high. All right, strike zone should be a little bit lower. You can see we're working same foot, same shoulder. All right, so we can secure wrap and roll. Okay, same drill, and just working block destruction with it. A good job by Steve. And the thing I like here, watch 48 here, Steve, all right? He does a good job of just really exploding through. Same foot, same shoulder, lowers the strike zone, hit a roll, wrap and roll, okay? Hit a roll, wrap and roll. Again, the other thing, you're working that sideline. You're working that open field pursuit. Again, you got two guys at two levels, all right? I'd like to see him get a little bit more lower center of gravity, same foot, same shoulder, but he does work to hustle and does work to explode through. One more here. Okay. Good job here by our corner here. I mean, he's a taller guy, number seven. I mean, you can see how he works the lower center of gravity and works to explode through. So, again, you're able to get really good work. You're not banging your guys up, but you're teaching them how to use proper angles, leverage, and go full speed. Okay. All right. Again, working block destruction. So, you worked high block destruction. Now you can work, you know, a cut tackle. Okay, so right here, all right, so we're working steel rods, all right, helmet and the shoulder pad, all right, 
uh, driving him down and away from us. A big mistake a lot of guys make is pulling the guy into you. Inside out, and again, just working that sideline there. We're working our shuffle, working square, head across. And again, working this stuff every day in practice. Every day in practice, we're working a, a tackling a block destruction circuit. Hey, here's a, a better, uh, closer view of it. Hey, okay. all right. Decently, you know, hand on the, on the on the helmet and the near shoulder pad, all right? Want to get that guy down, all right? And when we say shed away from us, shed him fully away, not back into us. A lot of guys make that mistake. He's pulling him a little bit into him too much, but he does get his back leg back, ground to get ground, all right, square, explode through. So, again, you're able to tie in block destruction and tackling and pursuit all in one drill. So, again, you build upon your drills, all right, from week to week. So, this is our second week of training camp. Um, that we do this drill. I'm going to skip ahead here to uh, get you some game game examples. All right, same drill. Just take the block destruction out. Now he's just got to plant and redirect, but again, exploding through. This is what you want to see on film is, hey, if that back makes a radical cut, how's my leverage? How's my pad level? Am I gaining ground in my closing space? Am I cutting the field in half? All the coaching points that we teach our guys um, and we're talking about. Okay, so now we get into some game examples, all right? So we're looking here at number 36. All right, he's in pass coverage, all right? Pass coverage, all right? They work to rally it down, all right? It's completed to number one. Now it's in the open field. So he's got to know where his help is, all right? His job, but the thing he doesn't do, he doesn't wait. He doesn't hesitate. He closed ground right away. So the angle we worked with all the tackle wheels, there it is right there. He's working it, all right? Suits the thigh boards, wraps, and rolls. Gator rolls and secures. You'd hear from the tight angle. Okay, again, look at number 36. Again, he was a true freshman for us, his all-conference player, Isaiah Onishak. Okay, realizes the ball is thrown, works the rally down. There you can see, all right, closing space. Everything we talked about in our drills. Open up, closing space, inside out, boom, secure wrap and roll. I got another one here, all right, work, look at the linebacker up top, okay, First down situation. All right, you can see he's working his curl flat drop right there. Okay, realizes it's thrown. All right, one coming across. Right, right now he's in the open field. He's got a one-on-one -on -one situation. So what does he have to do? He's got a close quarters movement in the field in half. Don't let this guy have a two-way go. Okay, secure wrap and roll. Now again, it's not as pretty as we want. We got the guy down. We can live another down. We actually get a pick uh, two plays later uh, in the end zone. So again, just teaching those guys. At the end of the day, we got to get that guy on the ground, live to play another play. Decent job, all right. Just closing the space, eliminating the two-way go. And we're in great shape. Okay, here it is from the tight angle. Finds it's complete. You can see right there again, he's behind a little bit. Again, secure, get the guy down on the ground. Hey, up top here, really good job. Our corner, our ball's complete. You can see him, all right? He's got all this open space. Look how fast he closes. He's a little high. All right, like him a little bit lower in the strike zone, but it's a good finish. You're running our feet on contact. Getting the guy on the ground. We'll play it one more time. So obviously the coaching point would be, hey, a little bit lower in your strike zone, but at the end of the day, we're physical, we're running our feet on contact, and we're getting the guy on the ground. Camera guy misses that. Here you go. Another one. So again, all right, we're here in the red zone. Okay. All right, we do a good job on the pass covers. The quarterback, you know, breaks open here. And you can see right here, linebacker bottom, great inside out leverage. He squares up. All right, Raps gets him down. We live to play another down. And like I said, another play later, we get a pick by uh, by number eight. Bring it all the way back. But he does a good job here, okay? We're in good pass coverage. Okay, lose contain, but he breaks the pocket. All right, good job here. Everything we talked about, right? Keep your shoulders square. Work inside out leverage, inside out pursuit. All right, and get him down the ground, all right? Probably could get his head across a little bit more in the thigh boards, but it's a great job in the open field, prevents a score, prevents a touchdown in the red zone area, all right? Critical area for def defenses. You got to win that area. We live to play another down. 
It is from the tight end. Again, good job. Open it up. Inside out pursuit. A little high, but again, we get them on the ground. All right, we use our leverage. So everything we've drilled in practice shows up. All right, so now we get to another type of tackle, vice tackle. We got a two on one tackle situation. All right, we're in the open field. The first defender is approaching the near hip um, using angle tackle fundamentals we just talked about. The second defender is going to go for the football. All right, if you're in the box, both defenders maintain leverage, aim for the near peck, peck drive through contact. Defender closest to the ball, you want to work to try to rip it out. Okay, so this is uh, one of our day one drills. Okay, you can see objective, you know, we want to uh, leverage the ball both inside out and outside in. You know, you line two cones 10 yards apart, you know, one cone is eight yards between um, 10 making a triangle. All right, the ball carrier is going to go vertical and then he's going to cut left to right. All right, have the ball carrier start um, and have him run three yards straight and then make a cut. All right, linebackers going to leverage inside out um, or outside in and close the space. All right, here's, here's what the drill looks like. Okay, so you got two guys here. And again, we do this with all our, our groups to, uh, positionally. All right, inside out, outside in. All right, so as this guy makes his cut this way, he's framing here the outside hip. He's framing the inside hip, inside out, outside in. Shoulders are square, secure. Second guy's going to get there, work to rip out. Now, this is our first day doing the drill. But with that, we're just working the approach. As we gradually get better with this, we'll add in the strip with the football. But again, something that you can work. We work this drill every day um, as linebackers. Um, and then it's also weekly in our in our drill tackle circuit as a full defense. So, you know, at least once a week, everybody on defense is getting this drill. Linebackers will get it twice. But it's a really good drill, just understanding leverage. A good, nice job here. All right, both defenders makes his cut. You can see his eyes. He's aiming for that outside hip. All right, inside out here, outside in. There's the fit. There's the guy going to strip the ball. And we're in good shape. But again, we're really working angles, working approach. And again, this is a drill you can do your Thursday. You can even do it in your indoor program um, or your off-season conditioning. All right, just working angles and approach and understanding, you know, working together and where your fit is. And again, regardless of what your defensive system is, you know, whether you're 4 3, 3 4, 3 3 stack, you know, whatever it is, 4 2 5. All right, if you understand where your inside out leverage defender is and where your outside in leverage defender is, this is a drill you can work every day. It'll make you a better team. Again, here's our D line guys going at it. A okay, good job closing the space inside out, outside in. You can see we're closing this space here in the near hip. There's the fit. Again, all right, 52 is, you know, working there to strip the ball out like we talked about. And we're in good shape. Okay, and again, coach it, emphasize it. All right, get, get what you want to show up on film. All right, now here it is. Here's a game version, a uh, game example. All right, right here, we're looking at these two defenders here, right? We're just against Slippery Rock. They were a national playoff team. Okay, so they throw the out cut. They give you a little RPO vert out. Okay, so right here, here's what we got. Okay, so here's our outside in defender. Here's our inside out. There's your vice fit. Okay, boom, come to clean it up. All right, ends up being second and long situation for us. A okay, nice job just understanding angles. Okay, uh, overhang player works inside out, realizes here's his outside in defender. So there's your vice fit. And secure wrap and roll, second guy going in, trying to strip the ball out. Okay, here it is from the tight angle. Okay, ball's thrown. All right, you can see right here, all right? Ball's thrown, it's complete. Right here, here's our outside in, here's our inside out. There's our vice fit that we're looking for, that we're talking about. It's secure, second guy's going in to try to strip the ball out. Ends up being, you know, a second and uh, a second long situation. Complete, but again, everything we talked about, right? Closing space, okay? Open field, know your leverage, know where your help's at. All right, and again, just getting guys rallying to the football. Okay. So talked about, hey, you can do this drill, you know, any time of the year. Um, you can do it in your indoor program. You can do it, you know, spring ball, you know, wh whatever it is. We're, we're here in our gym working it. All right, again, just a variation we did. We added an agile so they have to keep the feet active. All right. Feet are active. Guy makes his cut. You can see there, all right, we're working the aiming point. All right, like to see him bend. He's a little bit bending too much at the waist. like to see him sink his hips a little bit more. All right. But again, fitting it. But the nice thing is, you know, we, we film it, we drill it, we're able to talk about it. 
All right. And again, just a variation, something you can do in, in your summer program. You can do this drill even without pads. You're just working the approach of you. Add, you can add the agile bag in as a variation to force those guys to have to keep their feet active. All right. There's their cut. Boom. You're in great shape. Okay, just another clip of it. Okay. You can see these guys do a really nice job, right? Makes his cut all right, inside out, outside in, closing the space. All right. Not leaving that leakage there. And we got a nice fit there. Okay, here's another game example. All right, looking at the two guys up top here, we got the Will linebacker in the boundary corner. The ball's thrown. All right, good job here. All right, knows the sidelines here. Working inside out, working outside in. There's your two for one. Okay, nice secure and tackle. All right, both are running their feet on contact. The guy out of bounds. Okay, everything's clean. Everything's legal. Playing physical brand of football. And again, it all starts with what you drill, what you drill in practice. This doesn't just happen by chance. The guys do a great job in practice. They take the drills and they take uh, the techniques they're taught and then they apply it on the game day. And that's the thing. If what you're teaching is showing up on film, all right, that's when you know that you're, you're being successful. Now, that's when you know your players understand it. And again, let guys play fast and physical. Give them the tools they need. Give them the fundamentals and let them make plays like this. Here it is from the tight angle. Okay, so good job right here. Okay, all right. Now, the nice thing is, all right, these two guys were all conference players. Isaiah Onishak, uh, Tyler Patron do a great job here. It's a reason they were both all conference in the PSAC. Inside out, outside in, there's your vice fit. All right, and, and we're putting that guy on the ground. Again, we're not allowing him to break out of tackles. We know our leverage. Working together, second guy in there. You can see he's trying to rip the ball out and strip it out up working out for us okay, another game example all right you can see all right quarterback scrambles here all right here's our vice fit all right inside out outside in high boards second guy there's trying to rip the ball out all right get him on the ground all right it's a nice uh, third down stop for us Here it is from the tight angle. And again, just guys knowing their leverage, knowing if I'm the inside out defender outside. And that's why you teach it to all three levels of defense. Okay. All right. He breaks contain camera guy loses a little bit, but you can see here, we're working here. Our pursuit inside out camera guy doesn't have it, but it ends up, you saw from the wide angle it's up playing out for us. Okay. This one will go to the tight angle. It's a little bit easier to see. Okay, so here we're in a red zone goal line situation. Okay, right here we've got the, the Mike and the Will working together. Okay, so they run quarterback lead draw, so a good job of being physical and block destruction on the lead blocker with our Will backer. Okay, he's inside out. Here's our Mike outside in. All right, we shed. Here's our two for one. Go back. Missed that, the end of that there. Running our feet, getting guys the football, but keep them out of the end zone. Play one more time. So just a good job again on the block restriction, but understand that Mike and Will are working together with their fit. Physical inside out, outside in, running the feet on contact. He's down on the ground. Okay, last couple uh, tackles, we got the trail and we got the box, but the trail tackle, you're behind the ball carrier, all right, down the field or across the field. Fundamentally, you uh, do not follow directly behind. All right, secure the tackle on the opposite shoulder and work the punch at the football all right, as much as we can. So as much as we can, sometimes you may not be that high. Sometimes you got to go and sweep the ankle. All right, if that guy's really got you out of position, you can't go over the top. All right, but again, you know, given our guys the different situations they may face and how they have to handle those situations. Okay, so here we go. This is one of our sideline pursuits. So again, all right, that ball carrier is way ahead of you. All right, and all you're working here is just the, the sideline and the pursuit part of it. Okay, so again, you got to agile. All right, works better with an agile than necessarily a tackle wheel. All right, working that guy to get high all right, and then secure secure off. The one thing you can do is after guys get a hang of the, the drill, you can then add a ball in all right, and, and uh, they have to rip at the ball and get it off the pad. We can see here you're getting two things. All right, you're getting the trail position, 
to secure the tackle, and then you're also working sideline pursuits. You guys aren't following the same colored jersey, and really how it happens is as they break, all right, whatever guy goes to the first pad, the second guy's got to adjust off. So if this guy went here to the first agile, this guy would have to adjust his angle off, so you're getting a little pursuit drill out of it as well. And then there's the secure the tackle. Again, all, right, all levels of defense are working it. All right, so there's Zach Button. All right, first guy to the pad, number one. All right, number two is Lucas Bush, one of our defensive tackles. So everybody on defense is working this drill. Good hustle, good pursuit. And nice thing, again, you film it. All right, you can show the guys their effort and their hustle. They're in pursuit. Again, it's trying to secure it, take the angle, and get where you need to be. Okay, right, here's, here's a game example of it. Okay, so we're holding, we're holding, we're holding. Okay, all right. Throws it out. All right, now we're in that trail position. Okay, so we have to take that angle. All right, he's a little bit ahead of us. You can see we're working to secure, trying to rip off over the top. And we get the guy on the ground. Again, sometimes this trail tech is not going to be the prettiest. But again, at the end of the day, get the guy on the ground, live to play another down. Okay, here it is from the tight angle. And again, guys, I think as much as possible, if you can show your players how this stuff shows up on game day, the more they'll buy into the drill and understand what they're trying to ask of you. Camera guy missed it there. Hey, okay, here's another one. Hey, okay, so ball is complete. All right, so it's complete on a cross. You can see we're in a trail position. All right, so we're securing. All right, trying to rip the ball out. Obviously, we'd like to see him be a little bit um, higher in the strike zone. We'll see her from the tight, tight angle. But again, we get him down on the ground and we're, we're living to play another play. Good, secure. And again, you got, you got another down there. Here you go. This is against Shepard here. All right, so, all right, guy breaks it. I right, see one of our defensive linemen here does a good job. 97, all right, good job here. All right, get knocked back, pursuit. All right, now he bends flat down the line. He's in a trail position. You can see here he's securing over the top and working to punch the ball out. So, again, it shows up at all three levels. The guy on the ground, we're in great shape. We got third and seven, third and six. We like those odds as a defense. So he does a really good job there. And here's another one. All right, right here. All right, basically they're, they're working here, an outside uh, scheme, outside zone scheme. Okay. A nice job here. All right, you can see 52. He's working into a trail. All right, and you kind of get the best of both worlds. You get a vice tackle and a trail tackle. All right, 52 is working the trail. He's setting the edge. Here's your safety to cap it all off. It ends up being no gain. So, again, just all, all the, the, the situations and everything that you drill, sometimes it shows up in the same, same game, same situation. Okay, here's a tight angle of a, a defensive tackle on the previous play again. You can see here, all right, does a good job getting explosion. All right, there's the trail, and you can see how he secures over the top. Okay, got another one here. Look at the overhang up top. Okay, so you can see here he's coming on a blitz path. All right, works to adjust his angle. All right, again, we're in that trail position. We're behind the ball carrier now. All right, so again, we're going to secure, try to rip and punch out. Ends up working out for us. Good job adjusting on the fly, and again, just being under control, understanding your angles. There it is from the tight angle. Good job. You can see these there in the trail. Works to bend, secures, and tries to punch the ball out. Here's another one. Again, working the trail. He's behind the ball carrier. Checks, make sure he doesn't hand it off on the jet. All right. That's our foot on the ground and then secure. So, again, it shows up on all three levels, whether you're a, you're a stand-up end, you're an overhang, you're a defensive tackle, you're a, as a corner, a DB. And I think, again, if you define it for your players um, and you show them the game examples, the more they're going to understand it. Okay. All right, the last kind of tackle we talk about is your old school. We're in the box. All right, you're in the goal line situation. You can't necessarily go for the thought boards. You're going to have to go chest to chest. Now, again, you're keeping the head out of it. It's chest to chest. The head's out of it. You're forklifting. 
All right, all right, grab a cloth and run your feet on contact. So you can see here, a goal line situation, we're still working to square. We're keeping the head out of it. We're getting chest to chest, eyes to the sky, all right? And we're running our feet on contact. So we're talking in the box, tackle to tackle, or we're within the three to four yard line in a goal line situation where we necessarily can't get our, our head across. Not necessarily the open field, all right, but close, close space, all right? We got to make sure we run our feet and keep that guy out of there. But you can see this. Very simple drill, about three and a half, four yards apart. You got a tackle and a ball carry, boom, working to secure. Again, square it up. And chest to chest. I'd like to have them a little bit lower pad level. And again, run your feet on contact. Okay, another variation of the drill, the agile pad there. Again, get them to take, make that one cut. They've really got to work to square, forklift up, run their feet on contact, and finish through. Okay, so again, breaking it down. Again, there's tons of different situations in tackling. You're going to be faced with them, but if you drill them and you show them the guys, they're going to be in good shape. Okay, this is our DB group. All right, again, really working here to square and run our feet. Square and run our feet. All right, and drive through. Again, this is later in the season, so even at the end of the season, you know, weeks 9, 10, 11, and 12, we're still working our tackling fundamentals and tackling. You, it's not something that you can do in spring ball or just doing your preseason training camp the first two to three weeks and then get away from it. You know, if you watch your film and you're missing a lot of tackles, you've got to drill it each and every week. Each and every day, you should have something with tackling fundamentals that you're going with. Get some game examples here, okay? All right, I'll come back to this. All right, but here's the box tackle, okay? So here we go. We got a two-back team. Okay. Inside leverage there, all right? You can see, all right, we're right there. We're attacking. You're in the box, chest to chest, squeezing square, running our feet on contact. There's the forklift like we talked about and working to drive through. Got it one more time here. Nice fit. Again, running through. So again, all those situations are going to show up, right? Last thing I'll leave you with is, is this is a drill we do as a full defense, okay? All right. And I think it's it's a great drill because you're getting everything you want. All right. You got a D lineman versus a D lineman. You get a linebacker here versus a D end or another linebacker. Okay, you get a safety and a, and, a, and a safety, okay? If we have the offense, we'll do it with the offense as well. But if we're in our tackling circuit, the thing you're going to get is we call it hit and fit, fit pursuit. So basically, you got a straight line. This side is the offense, okay? This side is the defense. So everything that you've worked, all right, now you're, you're working it here in an open field, close quarters movement. Again, we do this as a full defense. Our guys enjoy it, okay? All right, ball carriers got it. All right, so what has to happen here is, okay, the defensive lineman's got to not get reached by the, by the offensive lineman. A lot of times it's a D lineman and a D lineman, all right, but they've got to be able to defeat that reach block. Okay, what's happened here, you can see the, the linebacker here, he's in a trail, working inside out, trying to see where the ball declares, okay? Once the ball declares inside, he's going to go and make his move. You can see the safety, all right, or the secondary player, all right, he's going to have to fit off where he fits, whether it's inside or out. Hey, if we flatten it all out, you get all three defenders to the football, okay? All three defenders to the football. Now, one thing we try to tell with our guys is that, hey, we're putting this on film so they can't just brother-in-law each other or take it easy. You're getting a lot of what you want out of this drill, all right? You're getting your defensive lineman defeating the reach block. You're getting your linebacker to work shelf alley press inside out. You're getting your secondary to understand are they fitting inside out or outside in, reading it on the run. Oh, so, you know, especially, you know, all those different things, all right, again, your inside-out pursuit, use a sideline as a 12th defender. You can use a vice tackle if it's inside-out, outside-in, depending on how your leverage works. But I think it's a simple drill. I think it's a great drill, and you get a lot out of it. All right, here you go. It kind of shows up here on film a little bit. So, again, that ball's inside-out. You can see here, okay, all right, we're fighting the reach. Backers working inside-out. Hey, you can see our safety guys trying to figure out where to fit. Hey, it's a box tackle. We bottle it all up. So again, it's it's a drill that does show up, um, shows up in all phases, um, and it really does work. Here's another one uh, of the drill. But again, the guys really compete at it. They do a nice job. 
All right, you can see here, all right, guys fighting the reach. All right, he gets the lead blocker. All right, makes it real easy for these two guys. And you can see here, this is why that backer is making sure he doesn't fly too fast over the top to leave the cutback lane. He can fit in there. And then if the ball carrier declares there, you've got your safety player adding it. So again, you're getting those fundamentals that you want. And he decides to cut it back door. All right, linebacker work back over the top. Safety can fit there. There's your vice tackle. Again, guys have a good do a good job of competing with it, understanding leverage. You're not banging the the, the a ton, uh, and, and you're keeping guys healthy. We did this week uh, week nine, ten, and eleven in 2018 as a drill, and we got a lot out of it. You can see guys are, are hustling, all right, to get where they need to go. You're teaching everything that you need. And you're in really good shape. And uh, again, I think again the main thing with tackling is if you drill it every day. If you practice it, if you give the guys situations um, that they can all understand um, and that they they can all uh, deal deal with and have game examples, you know, the more game footage that you have of those drills shown up on tape, the more your players will buy in and the better off you'll be as a full defense. And again, regardless of your structure, whether you're a 4-3, 3-3 stack, 4-2-5, uh, 3-4, if you, if you have solid tackling, or if you have solid fundamentals, um, you're going to be a really good defense. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. Please feel free if you have any questions, uh, reach out and contact me. Thanks.